Hi there, this is Ranjit and I have this uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 3 Neo with me which has a peculiar uh, 6 core processor that's known as the hexa core processor and let's look at the benchmarks i actually do not believe a lot in benchmarks but quite a few of you have asked me to do benchmarking on this one so we'll do that and before that let me show you the configuration using this uh, cpu z application now and as you can see uh, the cpu z uh, detects that it has six cores and it's saying that uh, it's based on the ARM Cortex A15 and clocked at 1.3 gigahertz. Uh, but that's not entirely true. Actually, out of that six cores, two cores are based on the ARM Cortex A15 architecture and they are clocked at 1.7 gigahertz. The box also says that. And the other four cores are clocked at 1.3 gigahertz that are based on the ARM Cortex A7. Uh, and as you can see, all the cores are working fine. And in terms of the GPU, the Neo is using this Mali uh, 624 GPU. Uh, regarding RAM, it has 2 gigs of RAM and the screen resolution is 720p HD and it sports a 5.5 inch Super AMOLED screen. And out of the box, we are getting it with the Android version 4.3 that is Jelly Bean. And uh, the battery is a 3100 mAh battery and it's been around 3 days since I'm using this device. And yes, I know it's a bit early to comment upon the battery, but uh, initial impressions, the battery life on this device is pretty good. And for most of the users, I would say it can easily last one full working day. And these are the sensors. So Samsung did not skimp on the sensors department. You can pause the screen to look at it. So let's close this and uh, let's exit this apps. And actually I have uh, run a lot of popular benchmarking applications like Quadrant, etc. I'll just directly show you this course. Let's before that, let us also look at the system information via Quadrant. And uh, the model name is SM750. Actually, the processor is Samsung's own Exynos 6 core processor. And this one uh, is detecting again uh, the ARM uh, Cortex A7 uh, uh, cores, not the uh, 15. That's why the maximum frequency it's saying is 1.3 uh, gigahertz. But the two cores that are based on the ARM Cortex A15 uh, run up to 1.7 uh, gigahertz. Regarding the memory, it's two gigs. And the GPU, as I told, is the Mali 624. So let me show you the quadrant scores now. And as you can see, these are the quadrant score and we got a score of 11,750 on quadrant. Uh, and let, let me give you, what do you say? Uh, the breakup total is 11,750. Out of that, the CPU got a score of 41,232. Memory is 9230. IO is 5857. 2D is 149. And 3D is 2284. I also ran the Antutu benchmark, which is again a very popular benchmark. So let me show you that also. And as you can see, we got a score of 30,000. And let me show you the details. Uh, let's let me show you the chart first ranking chart and actually it's according to this chart let me show you the bar chart it sits above the Samsung Galaxy S4 and uh, it's below the LG G2 so a score of 30,039 uh, let me also just go back and show you the details these are the details you can just pause the screen to have a look at the same so that's for the and to do benchmark and let's also run this Nina mark 2 yes I know it's not a very uh, robust uh, benchmark it's pretty old but just for the heck of it let's run it and again it's maxing it out at around 59 FPS if you see these lines on the screen don't worry it's not the problem of the device it's my camera and uh, it will be almost the max. The max is 60 that we can get. We will get around 58-59 I hope. And it's done. Again we got get a score of 59.1 FPS. Uh, I also ran this one more test. This is Epic Sedatl. And uh, this is by uh, runs on the Unreal Engine. So this will be useful for uh, uh, if you run a lot of what do you say 3D intensive uh, games. And let me show you the scores now. And in that Epic Citadel, we get a very healthy score of uh, 50.9. That's almost 51 FPS. And I ran this at uh, ultra high quality. So that's also a very good score. 
again benchmarks uh, always just say half the story i believe in real world performance so i'll also be doing a in-depth gaming review on this uh, uh, galaxy note 3 neo very soon so if you aren't subscribed to my youtube channel subscribe to the same thank you for watching this video this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video